Jamel, what's the end game here? Is Phil, is he trying to drive uh, Melo out, or does he really just want out himself? I think that Carmelo and Phil, until one of them decides to quit, they need to realize they're the old married couple stuck together <laughs> that have no better options. Again, presuming both of them want their jobs as presently constructed. Phil doesn't have any leverage in this situation. Carmelo has a no uh, trade clause, and he's very specific if we are to believe reports or just to do some of our own thinking about where he might want to go. The reason why Doc Rivers and the Clippers keep coming up is obviously the strength of, your, the strength of their team. They're in L.A., which is considered to be a market that Melo and his wife Lala would like. And, oh, his other banana bro brother, Chris Paul, is also on that team. Yeah. The other thought is Cleveland, where his other boy, LeBron James, is on that team. But here's the thing. Neither one of those teams are interested in giving up major assets for Carmelo Anthony. So either one of two things can happen here, or three things really. Melo can say, I don't care where I want to go. Phil's Jedi mind tricks are working. I'm tired of this guy laying me out in front of the media all the time or subtweeting or whatever it is he's doing. Phil can quit himself, or they can just realize we just have to make the best of a bad situation. I hope it's not the third one, but I'm so sick and tired of talking about this melodrama. Please wake me when some development happens. Either James Dolan gets rid of Phil or you know, Melo says enough is enough. But we keep talking about something that doesn't seem like it's going to materialize anytime soon. But nonetheless, here's why the Zen Master's Jedi mind tricks make no sense. When you're trying to sell a used car, you talk about how reliable it is. You talk about how many miles it still has you on it. You sell the upside. I would be in the press talking about what a great leader Carmelo is, how positive he's been, all the great things about him, not all the things I don't like about him. Or I wouldn't have people saying it for me and retweeting it, which equals an endorsement in this case. I would not be doing that. Instead, he is basically saying, I don't want him here, so why would anybody else want him? Or to your point, why would somebody give up something of value for him?